Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 10.8 from Sariku book. So the question is use nodal analysis to find the current I0. So that I0 is the current that passed through that 40 ohm resistor. And maybe the first thing that we need to do is to convert all of the values into passor. So here we will have 200T here. That means that our omega here will be 200 radian over second. Okay, and now let's convert the inductor and the capacitor into fasor. So I will try to convert the inductor first, which is 100 millihenry. And we need to convert it into fasor, which we have J omega L. And that will equal to J multiplied by 200, multiplied by 100, and then multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 because of the millihenry. And now that will equal to J20. And the unit here will be ohm. Okay, that's good. And now we will need to convert this 50 microfarad into fasor. And remember that capacitor is 1 over J omega C. That will be 1 over J multiplied by 200 and then multiplied by 50 okay by 50 and then multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 but i want to move it here 10 to the 6 okay and here i will have what is this 200 multiplied by 50 that will be 20000 so i will have i think 1000 yeah 10,000, okay, 10,000, so I will have 10 to the 6 divided by J, and then 10 to the 4th power, and we will have 100 over J, so I will have minus J, minus J, and 100, the unit here will be O, okay, now let's put that into the circuit, so I will have here I will have J20. And here I will have minus J100. Okay, now let's do the nodal analysis. Let's set this bottommost node here as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0. But here we will have V0 from the ground. So I will have V0 is here. So I will have V0. And here we will have maybe let's name this V1. And we need to assume the direction of the current. For the current source, I just follow the direction of the arrow. So there. And here I will go down. I will also go down here. And for here, I will also go down. We already have this to the right. And let's do KCL at V0. So KCL at V0. KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out, right? Okay, what is the current that goes in? There are two currents that goes in. The first one is IS here. So let's just write IS. And then plus. This current here is 0 0.1 V0. Okay, 0 0.1 V0. And then I think all the other currents is going out, right? One, two, and three. Okay, let's do that. So I will have this one. That will be V0 minus zero, which is V0, divided by 20. And then plus this one here, which is V0, divided by minus J100, minus J100. And then plus... Okay, let's move on to this one. That will be V0 minus V1 divided by 40. Okay, I think I will rewrite this. 0 0.1 over V0 is just V0 over 10, right? So I will rewrite it as V0 over 10. So I have V0 over 10. And for IS, remember that IS is this in time domain. Or we can rewrite this in FASOR IS. Let's get the amplitude, which is 6, and the phase, which is angle 
15 degrees. Okay, so I will have 6 angle 15 degrees. Let's do that. 6 angle 15 degrees. Okay, now what can we do from here? Maybe let's simplify this equation first. Okay, I see that this is plus and this is minus. So that will become minus, right? This is become minus. And I think I can move this V0 over 10 to the right hand side. And that will become minus. Okay. So I will have this. Minus and minus. Okay. Now I want to split this fraction here into V0 over 40 minus V1 over 40. Okay. I can split that fraction here, V0 over 40, and then minus V1 over 40. Okay, now we can factor out the V0 from here, and we can also factor out V1. Okay, so now let me just rewrite it. 6 angle 15 degrees and that will equal to this one minus 1 over 10 minus 1 over 20 and then minus 1 over j100 and then plus 1 over 40 right and that will multiply it by v0 and then plus i will get this one that will be minus 1 over 40 multiplied by v1 okay now, I think we cannot do anything from here. Maybe let's save this equation as equation number one. Okay. Now, let's do KCL at V1. Let's do KCL at V1. What does KCL say? That the sum of the current that goes in, that will equal to the current that goes out. Okay. There is only one current that goes in, which is this one. So let's write that. So we'll have V0 minus V1 divided by 40. And all the other currents is going out. So first one, I will have this one, which is 0 0.1 V0. Or I can rewrite that as V0 over 10, right? V0 over 10. And then this one. And that one will be plus V1 divided by J20. Okay, now maybe let's rewrite this as V0 over 40 minus V1 over 40. And that will equal to this one that is still V0 over 10. And then plus V1 over J20. I want to move all of them to the left hand side so the sign will be flipped and that will equal to zero so like this one so i will have this minus and minus right okay now let's factor out the p0 so i will have this and this which is 1 over 40 minus 1 over 10 p0 and then plus let's get the v1 so i will have minus v1 minus 1 sorry minus 1 over 40 and then minus 1 over j20 and multiplied by v1 that will equal to zero and let's save this as equation number two okay no, I want to solve this using calculator, but first I want to name the coefficient first. So I will name this one as A and this one here as B. And then this one here as C and this one here as D. And the result here as E and here as F. So if I want to write it as a matrix, I will have A. E, C, and D. And then I will have V0 and V1. So I have V0 and V1 here. And that will equal to E and F. E and F. Okay, now we can solve for V0 and V1 by using Kramer method. Right? 
So I will have V0 here will be the delta 1. Delta 1 divided by delta. And then V1 will be delta 2 divided by delta. Okay. The easiest one will be the delta first, which is the determinant of this one, which is AD minus PC. So I'll have AD minus PC here. And this one here will be also AD minus PC. Okay, now let's put the EF here. So what is delta 1? Delta 1 is the determinant, but with this AC replaced by EF. So the A is replaced by E. So I'll have and the C is replaced by F. And the rest is the, still the same. So I will have ED minus P. And for delta 2, the column BD here is, will replace by EF. So I will have D replaced by F. And then the B replaced by E. So I will have this here still AC. Okay, now one thing that we need to do is just put all of them into calculator. So let's put the A, B, C, and D, and E, and F into calculator. So A is this one. So I will have minus 1 over 10. Okay, then minus... So I have minus 1 over 20, 1 over 20. Oh, I think I need to set up this as complex first. Ah, okay. So let's do the A. So I will have 1 over 10. And then minus 1 over 20. And then minus 1 over J100. So that will be 100i. Oh, why? It's not complex yet. Oh, I need to redo this calculation. So I will have minus 1 over 10. And then minus 1 over 20. And then minus 1 over 100i. And then plus 1 over 40. Okay, let's save this as A. So, I will get this as A, right? And then now let's move on to B, which is minus. Okay, minus 1 over 40. 1 over 40. And let's store this as B. And C, that will be 1 over 40. Minus 1 over 10. Let's store this as C. And then D. That will be minus 1 over 40. Minus 1 over 20i. Let's store this as D. Okay, and then for E, I will have 6, and the angle will be 15. Let's store this as E. And then 0. Okay, 0. Let's store this as our F. Okay, now let's do the calculation here, which is for V0. I will need to find out the ED. Okay, ED minus PF. P minus F, then divided by AD minus PC. Okay. So I will have this, and I think I need to convert it into polar. So I will have 51.26, okay, 51.26, and the angle will be... The angle will be minus 
yeah. 0 0.01 degrees and then I think I will need to save this maybe as X okay and for V1 let's do another things okay we will have a F minus EC and then divided by a D minus BC. Okay. Yeah, let's save this. Maybe let's change this into FASOR. So I will have 68.77. Okay, 68.77. And the angle here will be 96.42. Okay, 98.42. And the unit here will be volt and volt, right? But the question is not asked about the V1 and V2. Maybe store this as Y. The question asked us about I0, which is V1, V0 minus V1 divided by 40. Okay, so let's do that. So I will have I0. I0 here will be V0 minus V1 divided by 40. Remember that V0 we have saved this as X and V1 we have saved it as Y. So we can just do X minus Y, right? So I will have recall X and then recall Y divided by 40. And we will have the value of the I0, but I think I need to move it into FASOR. So I will have 2.56, 2.56, okay, 2.56, and the angle here will be minus 108.15, 15 degrees. So that will be I0, and to get it into time domain, remember that our omega is 200, and the function is cosine. So we will have I0 of T, that will be 2.56 cosine of 200T minus 108.15 degrees. And the unit here will be ampere. And this is the final answer of the question. And see you in the next video. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Let me know if I did. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.